She's in the kitchen cooking breakfast for the children. She's blowing kisses to her husband in the car. Salut à tous. Aujourd'hui, nous rencontrons The Amplifet à l'Institut suédois de Paris. Hi, The Amplifet. Hi. How are you? I will. I'm fine, yeah. I would like you to introduce yourself, each one of you, so you have something on your head. I do now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like that's supposed to be there. What are you? <laughs> it's like a oh. happening. Or <laughs> yeah, that's my gimmick. Um, no. So, yeah, I would like you to introduce yourself. My name is uh, John Back, and uh, I'm the most happy in uh, the amplifiers. I play the bass and uh, keys and guitar. And, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter of the Amplifets and I, uh, I do the singing and uh, I'm also in charge of the beards. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tommy and I play the keyboards. And if you're the most happy, I'm probably the most angry one then. <laughs> yeah. Hi, this is Corpy from the Amplifets. I'm probably known for being the most complainant one of them all. I always complain. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. The Amplifet looks like a pun. Band name kind of started as a joke, you know, between us when we kind of were writing a few songs and we kind of wanted <clears throat> having the vibe of a 60s, 1960s, you know, all girl group name, you know, similar mm. to the Ronettes or the Vandaleras or whatever. And then we was just joking about said the Amplifet sounds really, sounds like a girl group, doesn't it? Yeah, it sounds really cool, yeah. And then we're like, yeah, then it just kind of stuck. That was it. All right. If the Amplifet were in the dictionary, what would be the definition? Some, some poor bastards. <laughs> some poor bastards. No, it would be the, uh, it would say, uh, uh, Electro band from Sweden responsible for the birth of super pop. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. looks good. <laughs> um, we can see on your Facebook that the category of your music is a shock twist. So, what <laughs> is the shock twist? Every band these days has their own sub genre that, mm. that they're working in. So, we just thought we, we want one of our own too. To that shock twist, but what, what we really do play is, I mean, it's 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 pop, uh, song-driven pop with uh, a lot of influences. Uh, the major one being, you know, uh, dance uh, music of different kinds, uh, electro, uh, old house, um, and loads of pop from all eras, really. Okay. Where did you record your album? We uh, recorded it kind of somewhere up there in mid-air, I'd say, because we, we did it uh, in large amounts over the internet, actually. You know, we sent ideas back and forth to each other. You know, everybody would sit late nights at their computer and mm -hmm. uh, work on different parts. You know, and we send it to each other. And, hey, what do you think about this? Um, and uh, very slowly the, the, the album emerged. I've read that you really like fashion. Is that true? Yeah, we got a... We got, a, got our own fashion Nazi. Over here. Nazi? No, Shit. you can't say that again. No, of course not. Do you represent H&M? <laughs> no, I mean, you know, we're... Um, you know, of course, you know, fashion and music kind of goes hand in hand and inspire us in, in one way or another. Um, it's the visual thing again. Yeah, it's mm. the visual thing. I mean, it, you know, we're not slave to the fashion, but, you know, we like fashion, you know. Ever since The Clash came out, you know, 
you know, the greatest band on earth, of course. You know, mixing, politics, music, fantastic music, and fashion, you know, but in their own way, you know. It's kind of always been an inspiration, at least for me, you know, and, well, yeah, Bo as well, you know. God, you know. If you had to make the soundtrack of a movie, or for a director in particular? Sofia Coppola. Yeah, that would be great. Or... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think Steven Spielberg, that would be kind of unusual, because he always uses John Williams, you know, these big scores. Yeah. He could do with some proper pop music in the films. No, but Sofia Coppola would be really nice. Yeah. Okay. What is your favorite shoes for a life? Shoes for life? Mm -hmm. Not shoes. Shoes. Like the ones you wear. Shoes. <laughs> I really like these. They're French. Yeah. Uh, Lacoste, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a, yeah, sneakers and... Uh, um, yeah, I know what your favorite shoes are. Do you? Flip-flops, of yeah. course. Flip-flops. <laughs> but, but then I was born in the wrong country, Sweden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what is your favorite drink? Favorite drink? It would have to be beer. Beer for everyone? Jack and Coke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A last word uh, of the Amplified for Troisième Gauche TV in mm. Swedish. Yeah, we sit here now at the Swedish Institute in Paris. And then it passes you, naturally, well, because we talk a little Swedish. If someone understands this here, it feels great. <laughs> um, what does it mean? No, I'm just saying, we're sitting here at the Swedish Institute in Paris and I hope any, anyone can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Uh, we in Frankrike, we trivs oerhört bra här. Hey, mama. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Oh, we, thank we you. We finish with this word. My Italian suit really lights up my closet. Thanks for watching some French can make any sense of it It's my life 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 life